Good morning children. How are you? Hope you're taking good care. Let me introduce myself. I am Suleika. Today we are going to learn a very good story that is Dr. Gulliver. Before that story, let me ask you some questions. Children, have you seen God not in photos? Really, did anybody see the God? Yes, we can see in photos. But in life or else have you seen devils no we can't see that somebody will tell i saw this i saw that devil will be will be wearing white dress and god will be full of gold and very big giant he is not like a human all these examples we get yes do you want to see them Yes, somebody have that idea of seeing God or else devil. And somebody thinks if there is like that, they last. If really God is there means ask him to come in front of me. Some people are like that. They will tell. But have you seen a person who is like a mountain? We all are that is 3 uh, feet, 4 feet, 5 feet like that we will be. or else 6 feet have you seen a 10 feet person or else 15 feet person assume that if we see a such a person how we will feel we will be curious and also a feared a bit to see him and we will be surprised first yes here is a story about gulliver and lilliputs so gulliver is a giant person who is very big and lilliputians are very small tiny people so let us see what happened and how he went to the lilliputians gilliver was a busy doctor in london he wanted to take a break and decided to go distant lands and see different people and things he loved sailing he started in his voyage and after some days the ship hit a terrible storm and it sank gilliver fell into the stormy sea and tried to swim but he couldn't when he woke up gilver found himself on a shore he tried to move but he could not move he was tied down he felt something moving on his body when he looked at his body carefully he found tiny people moving on his hands legs and his chest when he shook his hands and legs and tried to unite himself forcefully little men ran away for their lives they started shooting arrows at his hand after some time gilver heard the voice of the king of the little kingdom gilver did not understand his language nodded his head in agreement to whatever he was said the king was happy he gave gilver some food to eat gilver later learned that he was in a kingdom called lilliput and the tiny people were known as lilliputians every day all the tiny people came to see him they called him the mountain man he smiled at everyone and was friendly with everyone the lilliputians liked playing with gulliver they loved to dance on his hands and legs and play hide and seek on in his hair after some days the lilliputians were not afraid of him they removed his chains gulliver was free now so what happened children who is gulliver he is a doctor so he is a very busy doctor so in spite of all these busy schedules he was fed up and he wanted to sail around to see different places and also different people and also the things around us so he started sailing himself and he started a voyage he started a traveling for a trip and after some days what happened he started in a ship and there is a terrible storm one day and he sank but gulliver tried to swim but he couldn't because of that he kept like that and he was pulled to a sea shore as soon as he woke up he saw himself in a shore 
and what he is thinking he is trying to get up but he couldn't move because he is tied down he is tied up with some ropes and he felt that something is moving on his body and he started thinking what it is and he looked around and he came to know that that is some small tiny people which are uh, just like us but they are in very small size and all these people are walking around his body and also on his hands legs and also some are on his chest so he shook his hands and legs then all the people came down falling and they are running away to save their lives and they started shooting arrows on him so as soon as they are doing all this gelua heard the voice of king there is a king of the small kingdom and he heard the voice but gelua didn't understand the language of those but still he understood that just an agreement as he is not doing any harm to them so the king gave some food to gelua to eat then later on Gelivar came to know that that is a kingdom called Lilliput and there was a king to that kingdom and all the people were called as Lilliputians so every day all these tiny people came to see Gelivar what he is doing how he is behaving and like that and after some days passed on he smiled at everyone and they became friendly with the Gelivar they used to call the Gelivar as the mountain man they used to play on his hands and uh, some used to play hide and seek on his hair also see children how funny it is as he is very big all these lilliputians used to play with him on his head they used to play hide and seek will you play hide and seek children yes we all play hide and seek after some days they are not afraid of him and they removed all the chains also and from now gelivar is free let us see after they became friendly what happened one day the emperor asked gelivar to help the lilliput kingdom in its war against his enemy kingdom blifescu gelivar agreed to it gelivar saw many blifescu's ships were approaching the little lilliput kingdom he dived into the water and swam towards the ships as the ships approached him he rose out of the sea and frightened the blifescudians with his loud voice and sighs most of them were terribly afraid of him and swam back to their kingdom some brave soldiers tried to attack him but he swung his arms and caught the entire fleet of blifesca by his hands and carried them to the lilliputs the li- people of lilliput were very happy they called him the hero of the kingdom gelua helped the people of blifesca and lilliputians to become friends once the people of blifesca invited gelua to their kingdom he spent two days on their island on the third day he found an empty boat on the beach it was a real boat he was very happy to see it He thanked both the Blifescudians and the Lilliputians for their kindness. The Lilliputians gave him a grand farewell and the emperor gave him live cows as a gift. Gelivar sailed back to London. Many people were surprised to hear about the voyage to the little kingdom and also to see the tiny cows. So what happened children? As the Lilliputians and also the Gelivar became friendly, they are living happily. One day the king asked the gelivar to help him in the war war with blifescu blifescu means that is the another kingdom in that island so gelivar agreed to it and he saw by standing that there is blifescas ships were approaching to the lilliputian kingdom so he dived into the sea and he just frightened the blifescudians with his loud voice all of them went back some ran away to their kingdoms and some tried to attack him then he swung his arms and 
pulled them some blephascodians to the lilliputians and he won in the war and also not only he won the war but still he also helped lilliputians blephascodians to become friends so they nicely became friends instead of fighting with each other then the blephascodians also invited gelliver to their kingdom and he went to their kingdom for two days and he, the, he is nicely enjoying there also but on the third day he found a real ship in the beach sailing towards him so what he did he is returning back to his place with the help of that boat and he is very happy to see that so while he was going he thanked both the blephascodians and also the lilliputians for their kindness how they treated him and helped them and became friendly so he thanked both the blephascodians and also the lilliputians and the lilliputians gave him a grand farewell and the emperor also gifted a live cows to him so gelwa sailed back again to london so he explained the whole thing there many of them were surprised about hearing this voyage about this lilliputs and also the little kingdoms and also by seeing a small cows as lilliputians gifted him the cows while he was returning back so finally he reached his place back with the help of that boat let us answer the following question and answers children why did dr gelliver go sailing gelliver was a busy doctor in london as he was fed up with his daily routine he wanted to take a break and decided to see different things and people so he started sailing what was the condition of dr gelliver when he woke up as soon as he woke up he found himself on a seashore he tried to move but he could not move because he was tied down and he he felt that something moving on his body when he looked at his body carefully he found some tiny people on his hands legs and chest why did the lilliputians remove gelliver's chain Lilliputians removed Gulliver's chain because he became friendly with them and every day the tiny people came to see him and call him the mountain man he smiled at everyone and he is friendly with them and they played with them and they used to dance on his legs and hands and also they played hide and seek on his hair so after some days Lilliputians were not afraid of him so they removed his chains